<clears throat> Jeez, I was about ready to start a video. Hold on, guys. So, um, I'm back again to talk about something that you guys may have not heard of or something that you guys weren't expecting to hear or uh, something like that. But it just so happens that Xbox One will have backward compatibility. Now, how, how it's going to work, basically, is that it will have an emulator. Just pop the game into the Xbox One, and you're all set. All the games you have, like the digital ones, it'll be all transferred over to the Xbox One. But... The downside is that you have to install the disc before you start playing. So basically, meaning Sonic 06 is going to be one of the games you're not going to be able to play since it's no longer in the store. Because you cannot buy it off the store. But you can... Uh, with the other games. <laughs> the backward compatibility will be released this fall's in this fall's update. So everyone will get their hands on backward compatibility later this year. So probably September, October, November. Oh, what else was there? They also announced a new Xbox One controller. See, here's the original. But, you're going to notice that this uh, control pad right here is going to be replaced with a circular pad. And it, on the back it has like little grip things on the bottom with uh, a level bar on the meat under the under there. And yeah, I would agree with you if you're disagreeing on the price because from what I've heard the controller, the Xbox One Elite controller, believe it or not, is going to cost $150, which is $50 more, oh, uh, excuse me, $100 more than the original. $50, $100 more than the original. A hundred bucks. And that is ridiculous. I'm I'm just gonna stick with the original. I'm not gonna waste a hundred fifty dollars on a new Elite controller. And Sony was caught by surprise when Microsoft announced their backward compatibility. I know that would I know that took them a long time because Xbox One is running on x86 uh... x64 architecture and PS4 is x86 so I don't think it's going to be able to handle that
So you may be wondering I've been up to since the last time I recorded a video. Well, it's been kind of harsh here and there at work and here because this uh, past few days I've been working a whole lot. Um, and I've been super tired, so I cannot post a whole lot. Been working seven to four, eleven thirty to eight thirty, so I've been basically working morning shifts, except for the night. That is, I was at least off on Independence Day, though. Oh my gosh, I'm not tired. And I've been up today. I've been up since 6 o'clock in the morning. My gosh. Damn. And I've been playing some Lego Marvel Super Heroes, so I was finishing that up. Um, I started to play some DLC stages on. Uh, Sonic Unleash. I've only did uh, a protos because, man, I tell you, the protos night levels, they're not so bad. But it's the day stages. You have to time everything perfectly for that. And I have like two, maybe three weeks till vacation. Hold on. Okay, it's actually four weeks. Four, four weeks till vacation. So yeah, I've been watching, uh, so yeah, that's what I've been doing since then. Um, had my niece's birthday party after got done with work. She's now five years old. Can't believe she's already that, old, that old now. <sighs> Oh, and also we have a new CSM. <sighs> because Evelyn's because Evelyn's gone. So now Deborah the overnight CSS is now the CSM. <sighs> and nobody even likes her. At all. Some of the associates were getting in trouble uh, because they go 
on ones without telling CSS. <laughs> but anyway, things change, you know. Nothing can be helped. What else do I have to say? Oh yeah, Nintendo's press conference. My gosh. <sighs> I feel bad for you if you're watching it right now. Because, my gosh, there are three days of Nintendo and with, like, seven, well, the first one being eight hours, the second one being seven hours, and the last one being six hours. Holy shizzle. Nintendo, what is wrong with you? Everyone else was an hour, why can't it yours be an hour? And the loading screens just makes me go insane. Not loading screens, but you know what I mean. Waiting screens. Uh, <sighs> they they play like three, four songs during the waiting time. You're like, ah. <sighs> Yes, it's so annoying. And lately, there hasn't been any games for any press conference that uh, caught my attention. for Yoshi's Woolly World, Need for Speed Reboot, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, um, and their replay, that's just about it. Oh, and also, is that Windows 10 is going to be the final version of Windows and that they're going to start using Windows as a service and of course Xbox One would start uh, running that as soon as Windows 10 rolls out and yes they did bring the start button back Again, I will have two updates for when I go to San Antonio. The first update is when I'm um, getting ready to go. And then the second update is when I come back and show you all the stuff from. stuff that I got from all over, over there, like the toe shirts and games that I bought while I'm over there, and going to SeaWorld and all that. <sighs> That's going to be it for this video, so... Uh.
I hope to see you guys next time.